Uh, welcome Angel Wolf here to Angel Wolf's Journey. I'm going to show you around my Beta 1.73 world that I started in September of 2011. Uh, I have a lot of nostalgia for this world. I uh, first spawned in and built my house on top of my spawn, as you can see. Uh, if you're wondering how I created this map, I did it with uh, an application called MC Map that created a zoomable uh, Google Earth style map of my Minecraft world. And I'm going to show you around my world and to me this world's special because it's my first world but it's it, I'm going to show you around my world I'm going to take you into my world and show you some of the features I have been working on and then I'm going to restart my world with the exact same seed <coughs> excuse me in beta 1.7.3 and center the map on zero zero instead of where spawn was. Uh, I'm not going to be using the old uh, level.dat file. I'll just be creating it from scratch with the same C and be centering the world on zero zero and using MC edit to trim off the portions. I haven't trimmed this world. This is a very old world from 2011. I can show you a few awesome features like nighttime mode and cave mode. I had spawned next to a surface level cave which is this right here and explored a huge amount of this cave system. I found a few spawners as you can see and I'm going to show you around as much as I can and then uh, that's going to be the end of the video and we'll, we will pick right up after that I load up the world. Here I am in Minecraft Beta 1.7.3, as you can see. I'm going to go into my single player world. Uh, a whole new world is what I called it. Uh, I just loaded these up to test these. Uh, I'm going to show you my original world from 2011. And I'm going to show you the world that I created with the same seed and just centered it around zero zero. Let's go into the world here. Alright, here I am. I spawn into my base. Let's have a small look around. There's to be nighttime. Probably sleep. That might be a good idea even though I'm on peaceful. Mostly because I'm just touring the world. I will show you my world uh, when I reach a modernish version of Minecraft uh, in actual survival mode. This is just... <coughs> Excuse me. This is just for tour purpose right now. Here's my lovely derp base and some of the stuff I have. I love the dog. My storage area. A bunch of things. Stuff. I don't have too much of anything. I've got a shit ton of torches. How much of iron? Food. Redstone. That's enough looking around that. Let's give you a smallish tour. Let's go look at that cave system I was talking about. 
This is a really, really lovely city. I really enjoy it. I have a sugarcane farm. I stole the reeds from the bank and built it. A little uh, prevent mobs from just walking up on you. I had deforested this whole area because it was in my way and I got blown up by a creeper. I think it was right here that I got blown up by a creeper. And I decided no more trees. Alright, we're not gonna have no more trees. Let's go take a look at my quarry real quick. And we'll take a look at this, which is the surface level cave that I explored. I had begun quarrying this because I read in the suggestions of things to do in Minecraft was every world needs a quarry. So I just started taking the stone from here. I found a bunch of minerals and uh, gravel. That's what that is, gravel. And I had dug quite far back. This just goes up to the top side into a cave system that kind of dead-ended and I saw how close it was to where I'd been quartering so I just dug right in. Now let's go take a, take a look at the surface level cave. This is the surface level cave system I found. Uh, when I first found this, shift failed on me to crouch, and I fell straight down and died immediately. It hurt. <laughs> so I dug in trying to rescue my stuff, and this took a lot longer than five minutes, and I lost my stuff. But I did find this cave, and it is a really awesome cave. I found two spawners, lots of diamonds. I really kind of enjoyed this. A nice little spiral staircase filling the holes in the gaps and the mineral uh, the mineral holes as I found my minerals. I even had a sign system to show me the way back out. This was an awesome cave. I think it's this way to get down. Is it this way? Yes, it is this way, but it is not this way. It is this way. This is where I very first came down into the mines, into the cave system. I found diamonds right here on this spot. That was actually kind of fun. This is a giant, giant cave system. I never did finish it. And that's part of the reason why I wanted to restart my world and share it with YouTube. And hopefully be able to get something out of it. A little bit of money from ad revenue maybe. Or even just a community to talk to. But I doubt I'll be talking too much. In the comments, I mean. I'm already lost in my own cave. It has been a long time since I've been through this cave. And after I get my world established, because eventually I'll be in a modern version of Minecraft, after going through all the versions, I want to show all the terrain changes through the different versions of Minecraft Java Edition. And I want to 
build a giant rail system across all that in a map width of chunks. You've already seen it in the overview map, so I don't think I need to show you too much more of this world. And I'll just cut to the generated version of the world. Alright, Angel Wolf back here, and here is the world. Angel Wolf's journey fully rendered and centered towards zero zero. Zero zero is about here and spawn is over yonder. This is the exact same world. I'm gonna load it up and give you a small another small tour show you it is the same world and explain anything but all right no cave rendering all right i'm going to stop here and Alright, Angel Wolf back here, and we're going to go into my world that I just showed you the overview of the map, and we're going to explore around the world a little bit, show you a few things. Here I am on 00, zero in beta 1.7.3. Now, zero, zero is in the water details. But this is where I spawn. And we're going to give a little bit of a look around. And let me double check that the Minecraft music is low. It is at 25%. We're good. Alright, I am on peaceful just because it's a tour. I'm going to go back towards the cave I was talking about. It's going to be a little bit of a journey. I'm going to try and keep you entertained because I'm not exactly much of a talker. I'm a little bit of an introvert. I'm doing this to kind of probably try and find a career of some kind. And might as well at least make an effort. Otherwise I have to do shit jobs. I mean, I am not interested in doing any shit jobs. I don't know if you've ever done shit jobs, but they aren't fun. They aren't even entertaining. You have to go to the unemployment office and they decide what you can do. I don't recommend it. Find a career. As soon as you can, find a career. You deal with less headaches that way. A lot less headaches. I'm going to show the terrain changes as I render it in different versions where the terrain changed. 
in the most recent version, or the most up-to-date version actually, before the terrain changes happened. That way we have the most amount of stuff in the least amount of generated chunks. So they take up space. A lot of space. So this, in my original 2011 world, was the island I spawned on, approximately here. And I built up this island to build my base on. Not exactly why is this idea, but it worked. You can see I did a lot of clear cutting in my original world. Doesn't look nice anymore. Let's see where the where the quarry used to be. Excuse me. Now it's just a nice looking area or mountain. I climbed up there and I just started digging. It didn't look pretty at all. Here is the surface level cave, and it is deep and dark and spooky, and I was doing something like this, and shift failed, and down I went, and dead I was. But let's show you that. Really shift? Well, I survived. Well, I'm here now. Great. Great, 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 great. Well, that's okay. I showed you everything I wanted to show you. So let's end the video here for now. And let's move on to the next uh, section. If you like what I'm doing, you can follow me on Patreon. It's only $5 a month. And you get one day early access to the videos. Uh, and you will get a producer credit. You can help me come up with designs to build in the world. So if you want to help me build and create in this world and get a producer credit, uh, join me on Patreon. It's only $5 a month. Until next time, thank you.